The following video will provide detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how best to treat and manage your school and the multiple spaces with the world's most effective bed bug killer and preventer, Stop Bugging Me Max. Please follow the steps closely. And remember that anyone can be trained to treat and search for bed bugs. The important thing is to be thorough in your search and consistent with your application. One should inspect and treat other school spaces of high traffic with the steps provided. Areas such as stairwells, break rooms, auditoriums, and any other places susceptible to transient bed bugs. Consistent and diligent treatment of Stop Bugging Me Max will protect you from the threat of bed bugs invading your school. Step 1. Classroom Office Inspection. Estimated time, 5 to 7 minutes per 100 square feet. Inspect facility frequently for bed bug activity. To conduct a thorough inspection of the space, it is crucial to know what bed bugs look like and where they're hiding. Adult bed bugs are reddish brown, flattened, oval, and wingless. Newly hatched nymphs are translucent and become brown with age. Eggs appear as gray specks that adhere to a surface by a sticky substance. Bed bug activity may be seen by spotting small spots of blood on cushions and other pieces of furniture, tiny brown spots, transparent or white egg clusters, or light brown bed bug skin casings. First, clean the room of all clutter. Service laundry safe items. If available, it is advised to service these items with Stop Bugging Me laundry additive. Second, examine the primary furniture in the room. Follow along the seams, folds, cracks, and hinges of desks, chairs, tables, and or lab benches. Look in screw holes, cracks, crevices, and corners for both lone adults and bed bug clusters. Now move to the other furniture in the room. This includes cubby holes, lockers, chairs, wardrobes, desks, appliances, counters, tables, etc. Remove all drawers, cushions and trays. Mimic the primary furniture search by examining the corners, screw holes, cracks and crevices of all furniture, fixtures and equipment in the room. The final locations to examine are the trim, shelving, storage, walls, and closet space. Run along the molding, carpet edge, window sills, picture frames, clocks, door frames, and other extremities in the room. Remember, effective treatment is succeeded through diligent search methods. Step 2. Prepping the Stop Bugging Me Max Sprayer. Remove cap from container and replace with sprayer hose and cap assembly. Tighten securely. Turn sprayer nozzle one half turn counterclockwise. Hold sprayer below the level of container and prime by pumping trigger three to six times until product is dispensed. Adjust nozzle to fine spray or jet stream as needed. To store, turn nozzle to off position and store with sprayer above level of liquid in container to prevent leakage. Step 3. Treating the classroom or office with Stop Bugging Me Max. 5 to 7 minutes per 100 square feet. Proper preventative treatment of a classroom or office should include an application of Stop Bugging Me Max to all bed bug prone areas, as well as areas susceptible to heavy traffic. Before treating the space, make sure to remove or avoid spraying all items that can be damaged by water. For those rooms already infested with bed bugs, proper treatment should include a thorough application of Stop Bugging Me Max to all bed bug prone areas, bed bug infested areas, and all inspected areas. Apply a wet spray of Stop Bugging Me Max to all suspect areas. As a surface spray, 
apply product in an even damp coating. For already infested rooms, first spray directly on insects, next on all suspect areas, and finally on all areas inspected. The product is non-staining on laundry safe fabrics and hard surfaces. Spray product until surface is damp, but there is no need to saturate or over spray. Start with the room's primary furniture. Apply spray to desks, tables, lab benches, and or chairs. Spray all wood or metal joints. Make sure to cover completely without saturation. Be sure to target tufts, folds, seams, cracks, corners, holes, and crevices with a wet spray. If bugs are already present, take extra care to target the infested areas first to ensure quick kill. Then follow up with the preventative steps previously mentioned. Now treat the entire trim of the room, including crowning, door frames, the trims of all chalkboards, blackboards, storage space, shelving, and edge of carpet with a thorough wet spray. Be sure to provide treatment to the entire perimeter of the room to ensure success. In the summer months, when the heat is off, spray in and behind heat registers with steam heat. Do not spray product into electric space heaters. Be sure to also spray the following areas. Behind clocks, rugs, drawer slides, wood joints in drawers, behind furniture, sofas, chairs, tables, cubby holes, lockers, water safe educational items, in closet space and be sure to target cracks, crevices and corners of the space. Cushions on sofas and chairs should be vacuumed following treatment. Any suspect areas left untreated should be sprayed with Stop Bugging Me Max to ensure proper treatment. Try and coordinate Stop Bugging Me Max treatment to follow regular carpet cleaning and shampooing. Keep students and staff out of the treated area until the spray has completely dried. For further information on treating other insects and pests, please refer to the Stop Bugging Me Max label for details. Stop Bugging Me Max remains to be the most effective killer and preventer of bed bugs but also takes the help of a diligent, detailed process. Congratulations on taking the proactive approach. Your students and staff will thank you.